as farmers always, it's just a wait and see. You, you, you wait to see what the weather gives you, and then uh, whatever it is, you take advantage of it. Martin says he's hoping we get at least two inches of rain before the week comes out of its dormant stage. Now, First Alert meteorologist Carly Smith joins me now. Carly, will La Nina make things worse? Yeah, La Nina is not good when it comes to rain. The last time we were in the La Nina pattern was back in 2010 and 2011 when we first started going into our last drought. So, but there is a little bit of hope. We could be seeing more of a neutral pattern heading into spring, hopefully. We hope so. <laughs> anyway, here's a look now at that La Nina rainfall drought uh, situation that we saw. So this was 2010, 2011. You can see that all of our rainfall totals were below average for the most part. And we're starting off December into January. Now we can add February to that list of being well below average. So the typical weather pattern are what we are kind of expecting also. So first, let's look at the past. December to February, we were in moderate La Nina. Um, that's why we are seeing cooler or less rain than we're typically used to. Unfortunately, this is the cooler ocean temperatures is what causes that. Warmer ocean temperatures cause El Nino. And it does look like as, as we head into our March and May and maybe into June and August, we'll be more neutral, maybe shifting into El Nino. So hopefully this La Nina doesn't last too long. But as for now, uh, this was the fourth coldest or tied for the third the cold, or not coldest, driest January on record. So that is one reason why our drought is just continuing to increase across the region. And for now, we have a little bit of clouds, but not much. It's a nice day outside at 54 degrees.